Hello, you guys doing today? My name is Professor Smellgood, and welcome to Sooner Aroma LLC, where I'm pretty much advertising my product. Listen, this is going to be really interesting, y'all. Really, really, really interesting. This is something that y'all really just don't catch too often. You don't find too many people that's going to talk about the stuff that I'm talking about, especially the way I talk about it. Now, what we're going to talk about today is a class of oils that I've already mentioned before. I call it the marsh, uh, the kung, the kung fu oils, right? The kung fu oils, right? And pretty much in due respect to those guys who are in the martial arts, you know. But anyway, we're talking about the name of this specific oil here is actually called Crane Style Kung Fu, Crane Style Kung Fu, and this is for the guys who know the crane style, who into the crane style, who learning, who's learning the crane style, or actually who who's even interested in learning the crane style. First and foremost, let me tell y'all something about the crane style, right? Uh, it's, it's initially called the white crane style. It's called the white, the white crane style of Fujian. I think it's called Fujian, Fujian province, right? It's originated in, in Fujian. In, in Fujian, that's the reason why they call it white crane style of Fujian. The originator of, of this specific style is a lady, a lady who goes by the name of Feng uh, Kinian. Feng Kinian, F A N G Q I N I A N G. Kinian. Feng Kinian, right? She's the one who actually started or founded this specific style, right? It's, uh, and, you know, it. How this specific style came about, how the style came about was, you know, first and foremost, let me tell you about her. This woman herself, Penny Yang, actually, she knew martial arts from her father. Her father actually taught her the Southern, the Southern style, the Southern style martial arts. All right. The Southern style, right. The Southern style of China, that is martial arts. So she was, she already had a base of the Southern style. So this is what happened. What happened was. She was, uh, she was, she saw a crane. A crane was flying nearby, and the crane landed right, in, right nearby her. The crane landed nearby, and so when a crane landed nearby her, she had a stick in her hand. She took the stick, and she tried to hit the crane on the head. She tried to hit the crane. You know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the whole story. But she took the. She had a stick. She was trying to use the moves that her father taught. First, she tried to use a stick to try to scare the a crane away, and then she tried to use. She tried to use different type of movements. She tried to use different types of moves, right? To try that her father taught her father taught her from the uh, from the southern martial arts to try to scare the crane away. So let me explain the story. This is what happened first, right? When she tried to scare the crane away, she used the stick, right? She took the stick and she tried to hit the crane on top of the head. The crane moves to the side, what we call slipping the jab in boxing, right? The crane moves to the side and blocks the stick with its wings. So since the crane blocks the stick with its wings, she took the stick and she tried to hit the wing of the crane. The crane... Uh, brings his the crane brings his wings together, steps to the side, steps to the side, and blocks the stick with his claw. So this time, she tried to outsmart the crane. She took the stick and she tried to strike. She tried to strike the uh, stick in the body and poke the body of the crane. The crane steps backwards. The crane steps backwards. It steps back. And it strikes the uh, the stick with his beak, and so from there on, she studied. She started to study the movements of the crane, the crane animal, the crane bird. Right? She started to study the movements of the crane, and what she did was she added that to what her father had already taught her, which was southern martial arts. Right? There was no there was no crane style at the time, but what she did was she added she added. The movements of the crane, and she was the one who started that specific system. But anyway, um, so now the fragrance. So now the fragrance, uh, the crane style fragrance, right? Since the since the crane style is is considered a soft style, it's not hard, right? It's considered a soft style, and it's it's more of defense. It's more of Pretty much defending yourself is is more defensive than anything. It's more defensive and then offensive after.